Good luck, Commander. Hey there, my name's Dr. Not. This is XCOM Enemy Within, and today we're going to Australia. Panic level 2, mission difficulty moderate, reward 6 scientists. Let's go. And we don't have much in the way of options here, and I think we'll just take our basic 4 again. We've got Muller, Guseva, Dubois, and Boothalezi. And as for uh, who's carrying what, we have an assault sniper. I think. Let's. Hmm, I think we're just gonna keep the the grenades. I was gonna put a med kit on somebody, but let's do it. All right, the other side of the world. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. So that's our next drop site. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. All right. Alien abductions operation Demon Sentinel, Melbourne, Australia. Let's go. So we've got those second wave options where basically if we get flanked, I think we're dead. So we have to play very carefully and fortunately we don't have any timers or anything like that, but it basically just means we cannot make a mistake in terms of positioning. So yeah, there's also, we've got second wave options where aliens can just shoot straight at us when revealed, so there's that as well. So this could be interesting, to say the least. Let's go here. Um, I. I think, can we get up top on this building? Anywhere? Uh, not that I can see. So, just move up here to these doors. See, the issue is if they run at us and flank us okay. from this way or something, like, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to switch over to the pistol here. Gonna have to remember that to do that. Oh, we've got run and gun here, so I'm gonna have to be careful with these controls. See where they're coming from before we do anything. Don't see anything. Let's kind of let's see if we can find something. Sneak over here. Okay. We've got meld. We got five turns. Let's use that as our objective currently, and head in that direction. This is not cover at all. So let's jump in here. We should be okay. Gonna keep everyone in Overwatch. We're gonna keep everyone kind of moving, moving nicely here. Did she get? No, she can't. So be cool. What? What just happened? Got the pistol there. All right. All right. So they're behind this building. It's also meld in that general direction. Let's jump up here. This is half cover. Uh, let's just do it though. I'm on it, Commander. I will duck down if need be. Holy. God, that scared me. <laughs> Alright, note to self. If we're gonna dash through doors, be prepared for them to smash open like that. Oh my god. There's that, like, really kind of tense ambiance, so when something like that happens, I'm just like, it makes me jump. Plus, my headphones are on a little loud, uh, much louder than you're hearing here, so. I hope. Unless well, you're really blasting your, your uh, computer volume. But back to this world. All right. Here we go. All right. We've got some shots here. We've actually got a shot, and we hit it. We only had one Overwatch that actually went off, though. But we're going to move up here to get this meld and use this as full cover, which is totally awesome. We can see the alien. 26% shot. 
what I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do here is run in with uh, the shotgun. I'm unfortunately we can't jump over the couch. Uh, I don't want to run through this. You know, I, th I th we should be safe. You'd think so, right? But then if this sectoid runs in here, we're we're screwed. I could run a gun. That is a thing. It's still behind. I want to get a flank shot though. It's still gonna be behind full cover, and we could reveal more aliens. Not something I really want to do. So we'll probably take this 26 percenter. I'm probably gonna Overwatch here in case this thing does go wild and run through here. And I don't want her to get shot at in half cover. She's in full cover now, but that's against this wall, not against this side. Um, so before I move her, let's see if we can hit this. One in four chance. No, he's way off this time. All right. I'm gonna save it. I want that sector to go into Overwatch. But I think I'm gonna do a third. I'm not taking any chances. I think I'm gonna come up here and we're just going to hunker down. And then over here we'll Overwatch. While well, she's sitting on the pistol anyway. I probably maybe could have thrown a grenade. But we'll wait. We'll see what it does. Hunkering down. If it's gonna run in here. No, it's taken off. So we know probably there are aliens in that direction. So let's slow down for a second. What I'm gonna do is grab this meld. We're gonna bust through here also. Okay, so that, it, this uh, wavy stuff is just from that. Yeah, just from this thing, okay. Just from the alien pod or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I do want to take a peek. It's pretty cool here. If I have to, I'll run back. What is it doing? Okay. Stupid alien. I'm about to start keeping score. There's a promotion. Just standing out in the open. What in the world? I'm gonna actually uh, open this and take an Overwatch here because this guy is totally flankable. And there are trigger tentacles. That's the second wave option where there is a chance that they will take a shot. Good to go. Let's get this reload here. Aliens will take a shot if they walk upon us. And we're flanked, I think. I don't know, that just means that if we're flanked and they walk on us, they're gonna kill us. Like, that's what I... I gather from that. Got the meld right there, we can see it. So let's just go through this way. The aliens are gonna be in that room, I... I sense it. Let's move up here, I kind of... Yeah, let's just go here. I'm gonna dash... with Elena here. We can get up top. I'm not going to do that. Buildings have no good cover. And honestly, how far can we dash? Yeah, we can get there. Let's go up. Let's overwatch here. Overwatch, I say. There you go. Oh yeah, they're in that building. We might not be able to get to that melt. Unfortunately, and this sucks that the door is against the fridge, so we can't put two soldiers on it. We can only put one. So let's bring everyone in this room. We'll open the door on the next turn. I actually think I'm gonna... Why can't we go here? Is that because the door is open? Hmm. I'm gonna bring everyone... Oh, but we can put someone here. That's not bad. I'm not gonna put the person with the pistol, though. We're gonna put... Man, what if they just walked into this room? Ooh. Probably should put the uh, Muller with the shotgun up front, but whatever. I'm gonna take this opportunity to lo reload here. I know I only took one shot, I think, but whatever. It's killing time. We'll wait. And we're gonna open this door. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to grab that meld. I'm not gonna run for it. It is full cover. Hello. Really? It is full cover, but is that dashing? Like, this is... Ugh. is it, he just got a promotion too. But nobody else can make it. I wish we had, like, a window over here. So, the question is, uh, do we do it? And the answer is... Sure. Alien object in sight. Oh, look at that. Got it. 
play it safe. Let's play it safe. They're back here then. We're gonna bring everyone up here. Everyone that can be up there will go up there. Oh my god, that was scary. There's like a... Everything's freaking me out. That's just what it, how it goes. Until, like, the, the very beginning of these missions... Um, sorry. Very beginning missions of the campaign are always like... Are we gonna be able to do it? And I'm completely doubting myself the whole time, so... Alright. Whoa, they're over there. Alright. I think I heard something. Uh-oh. We've got two more groups. Let's reposition ourselves. And they're actually moving quite a lot. So how are we going to do this? There looks to be better cover this way with the full cover here. I don't know. I don't... I don't want to get caught from behind. They could take a shot at us and then we have big problems. So let's just creep back out this way. We're going to walk down this street. And see who comes upon us first. I typically like high ground, of course, but with the high ground here, like, this is all half cover. So I've had mixed results dealing with that kind of cover. We're going to bring her out here if we don't see a sectoid, which basically has to be walking on this manhole cover for us to see it. So let's see what we can see. There we go. If we could get close enough for a grenade, that would be fantastic. We can also get some overwatch shots here, but remember when I said there was great cover over here? I could run and gun, which basically means that she's going to be taking two shots, but it is full cover. As long as we don't get another group. I think the other group's far enough away, presumably, maybe. The shotgun too, this is terrible, but what I want to do is line everybody else up. If we can. Will do. I don't know if we can. Nope, we definitely cannot. So we're gonna have to jump over here and get into position for next time. Um, Cause this is flankable. Yeah, maybe, I mean, unless they stand, I mean, they might stand out in the open, who knows. Let's just get across and let's get you here. Unfortunately, we're, we might only have one overwatch shot, but I could, First off, let's try let's try a shot. Why not? We can take one out. Holy crap, that was way off. It's okay, you're still learning. You're still learning. Uh, we're gonna get just one shot off if they come close enough. They might just sit back and take shots. Or they'll do that. Which is not really that smart. This gives it 4 HP and I think a better aim or more damage. I'm not 100% on that. There we go. Darn, but he's gonna be sitting behind a garbage can, so if we can if we can just not get hit here. Alright. That was close. We'll cover. What can we do about this? We can hit one with a grenade. Might kill him. How far can we throw these? Decently, if we can just kill that one with a grenade. And I think we could if we get up here. Can anyone do that? Yes. Let's see what we can do with this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Doing this again? I don't remember if the car explodes on first hit. But we're gonna hit these two then. That's three damage. Ugh, I actually don't like that at all because he's in half cover. Five HP. Mostly because we've got someone in full cover that can just do this. And I think she can even she can't even touch that car though. There's three damage, but it should it'll put them out in the open. So I say we do that. So here's what I think we're gonna do. If we can bring. See, I don't know if this sex would run out in the open to take a flank shot. That's something I'm not 100% sure about. And I don't want... That's only a 60% shot. You're joking me. Aye, aye. Oh, 
Oh, I thought he dodged that. Or, I mean, not not actually dodged that, but you know what I mean. Alright. I don't think we're going to get this sniper rifle shot, but let's try it. And then with him... We're up here. So we can hit that guy with the grenade next time. He might run away. I'm not sure. I don't know anything. They're backing up. Alright. And yeah, we know the other group's that away. Let's go back to the pistol, lest I forget. And let's move up rapidly. So we know the general direction that they're in, and I'm thinking we should walk through the building to get full cover and have people that have grenades go first. Got it. Moving. They don't have egg. What we're gonna do is keep him on overwatch in case that guy does come back. That would be a total flank here, which would suck. Same here. I'd say we take this opportunity to reload as well. What I'm actually going to do because of that, um, let's open this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, jump inside. Moving. And reload. I'm ready. We'll do the same thing here. I can. Got run and gun back already, which is really nice. And then I think with her, we're gonna just get get in here as well. Um, or are we? You never know if we'll have a, a shotgun shot. Um, through the door, who knows? We'll put her in position. Hope that this guy does not come back here and go. Bleh. All right, they're back behind this ice cream truck or something. Oh my God, it did it! No! Oh my God! It <laughs> I'm only laughing be holy crap. I'm only laughing because it missed. Are you kidding me? I thought, wow. Wa, a, u. That's crazy. All right, you've got, you've got the, uh, ugh. We need, we need another, uh, I, I, I worry that we're going to see the other group. We're not, okay. We want a promotion here. Get rid of this guy. Are you kidding me? These sectoids are more unpredictable, I think, than in XCOM 2. Like, that was not something that would have happened. If it would, if the sectoid in XCOM 2 would have run away, it would have gone to the group, and that's... You don't hear about it until, you know, you find the other group. That was actually quite startling and very good to know. Because... Yeah. That could have been... We, we should have lost her. Definitely should have lost her. Didn't even get the overwatch shot because it snuck up on us, so. Wow. Okay, so these are, this is all half cover. I think instead, we're gonna kinda do this jump around here. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm going to reload her. Shotgun. We're gonna just hang tight for a second. I'm gonna put this back on to sniper rifle. Uh, no, Overwatch. We're gonna do this leapfrog thing until we find out. I think they're behind the vehicle. What? Okay, so that maybe we were just picking up that one sector that ran back. Are you kidding me with this? So, what I gather then, this is a safe move. Alright, I don't even know what's happening anymore. But, they are moving very quickly. Let's... If we find them, we'll jump back. That's essentially what it's going to be. Position confirmed. So yeah, that other sectoid that amp that surprised us, the last one, um, I don't think it ran to a group then, just ran away and came back. So I've got to remember that. They don't, I don't, maybe they don't run to groups in here. I've been playing XCOM 2 so much that I, like, cannot remember 
what the aliens here do. Got it covered. So we've got to play it a little safe. I mean, not boringly safe. Like I'm not gonna sit here. Uh, well, I am gonna sit here on this turn. The uh hell. Um. I need this guy to get back around. I want him to come up here or something. Let's wait a second. Oh, I thought these were windows for some reason. Okay, we're gonna have to move everybody up. My bad. Oh, just kidding. Here they come. No, where are you going? What? Interesting. So let's move him here. The issue with this now is we've got all these people in really bad spots. So what I want to do is what I'm gonna do actually is dash her up here. But no, I want people with grenades up there. Come on. Double time. Go up there, and I want you to come up here. So you have run and gun. And then you just jump back. Um, jump back here. And then you take overwatch shot here. We're going to draw them in a little bit. And then flank them with these two. We see we can't move the camera. Who's control? Okay, so the one that's sitting out in the open is controlling. We can do this. Not going to hit that shot, but we can... What are you doing? Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so far so good with respect to... Hey, what? Oh, I thought that guy would have been in. Alright, so we're, uh, we're doing it here. Flat out doing it. We should be able to hit it with a grenade. Not even going to take this shot. 60%? Nope. Let's see if the car blows up on one grenade. I think it does. Or does it wait a turn? I can't remember. Once again, we'll find out. Yeah, wait, wait to turn. Okay. Mission accomplished. Here we go. So that went well. Had that one ridiculous scare that we should have we should have lost a soldier. To but the situation room. I'll take it. Commander to the situation room. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. Nice. That takes a solid effort. All right, we got support and heavy. Watch out, smoke grenade. And. Fire a rocket using an equipped launcher. This ability cannot be used after moving. Okay, I gotta remember that. Nor more than once per mission. Okay, cool. So we're looking at five, four, two, and one. So Sarah is pulling it. New metal. The urban combat badge is now unlocked. Visit the barracks Commander to designate to a special capability. Room. Yeah, let's do it. To the situation room. Got more melds, corpses, and some weapon fragments. Laboratory is available. Panic across Africa and South America. We will be in touch, Commander. All right. Commander, you can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. Let's do that. You and award medals in the barracks. Urban combat badge. What's the power? Plus five defense when in cover. Plus five aim against enemies in full cover. Let's do this one. Alright, and then I want this to be on... Let's put it on our sniper. Commander to the situation room. Good work. Alright. Let's go to the situation. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So mm -hmm. we should plan our deployments mm -hmm. carefully. Mm -hmm. Alright, well we don't have any satellites. And we've got Argentina and South Africa, both a little mad. Everyone else is mildly annoyed. Alright. So what do we got here? Build a laboratory. Don't think we need to. We just got six scientists. We could build a power generator. We have eight power available. 
I could excavate. I think we should do that. And then... We don't need to do that yet. Let's see. Okay, let's think about this. Satellite uplink. We can build them across... Just build them straight down. Um, let's wait on it for a second. We don't need it quite yet. We'll just hang tight. What other items? We can't build much of anything right now. I want to save some money for getting a satellite up. I appreciate your efforts to support so, the research this team. This is Commander. fine. All right. I've sorry, sorry, Valen. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. All right. Xenobiology. Capture alive aliens. We gotta construct the alien containment facility, research the arc thrower, build an arc thrower, capture a live alien, and interrogate said captive alien. All right. Cool. So let's research the arc thrower because it's the priority. Let's do it. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. All right, let's build this. So I might do power here, we might do labs and workshops, we'll just build them straight down. Something like that. I put this way over here just so it's not... I don't know why. I just did. Okay. We've got five engineers, we've got 11 scientists, look at us go. Let's go back here. Okay, that's our objective, that's fine. Um, ba -da -ba -bum. Let's go back here. Request from United Kingdom, a satellite. They want one satellite, they'll give us 200 supplies. It costs more. Like, why would we do this? Numerous UFOs have been spotted streaking over the skies of the UK. Concern for their citizen safety is building. Since they don't have satellite technology that can track the aliens like we do, they're offering a substantial amount of assistance to our efforts if we can help police their airspace. So they'll give us $200, but it cost us, what, like 265 or something like that? To build? So I don't think that's 210. Okay, so we're losing 10 bucks. I guess we could do it. Not a big deal. But, I mean, if we get to it, we will do it. That's just how it's going to be. Excavation detected. All right, UFO. I Do we have an interceptor? Let's go. Oh, we do. Okay, good. on the bandit. I mean, we have nothing that we can do except abort, so let's hope we can shoot it down. I think this is pretty much a guaranteed. There you go. Alright, we shot down the UFO. Alien crew moving at the crash site. Light damage in the encounter. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. 
She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Alright. UFO crash site. UFO 1, Brazil. And it's unidentified. And that's what we're going to do next time. So thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you take care. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.